If you're shopping online this holiday season, we have an idea for you to consider that is simple yet practical. Here to talk about the gift of education is Scott Ridgely with Virginia 529. Scott, thanks so much for joining us today. Appreciate you having me on. Thank you. Yeah. Tell me more about the Invest 529 program. What is that? So Invest 529 is our college savings program that allows families to save in advance for their future higher education expenses. Uh, you're putting money away and it's growing in a tax advantaged account. So as long as you use that for qualified higher education expenses, your student is going to be really well on, on their way towards paying for those high costs of college. Tuition, meal plans, books, room and board, a lot of costs. So thinking about giving gifts is a great way to get somebody started towards their educational future. Definitely. And I've got a child heading into college soon, so I definitely understand that. But the Invest 529 program allows a loved one to essentially buy a gift card that goes into someone's account. Is that correct? That's correct. So we've had for years people always asking how they could contribute to somebody else's account, not just to their own. And this is a simple way for you to save for your, your grandchild or to give it to a niece or a nephew for a Christmas present. We think giving the gift of an education is a better way to really show somebody that you care about them in the future. So we have gift cards available through our website, but then also in retail stores. So if you're looking at and shopping, shopping at Target uh, through this holiday season, you can find an Invest 529 gift card. Or if you're online, don't want to go to retail stores, walmart.com sells our Invest 529 gift cards as well. Tell me again, though, if you purchase this gift, gift card, whether it's at a store or online, how does it connect with someone who has a current account? So each of those gift cards that you're going to purchase has a code attached to it. And when you log into your own account to check your account balance to see how you take a distribution from your account, you have the ability to redeem that into your account. So those funds are going to be automatically deposited into what other investment selection you already have made on your account. So whatever you've already decided to do, that money is going to be allocated towards those investment options. Or if you're opening up a brand new account, one of these gift cards can help encourage somebody that maybe has never gotten to start up their own account. So this gift card might be that prompt that they need to finally start saving for their future education. Well, speaking of opening accounts, I know you're encouraging people to do so before the end of the calendar year. That's correct. So as long as you open up your account before December 31st, you have the ability to take advantage of Virginia's great state tax deduction, up to $4,000 off of your taxes for any contribution that you make towards your Virginia 529 or Invest 529 account. Uh, those gift cards that you might receive, hopefully for the holidays, count towards your state tax deduction. So if grandma gives you a gift, you get the added benefit of having a state tax deduction. So get that in place by December 31st, and you'll be well on your way towards your April 15th tax submission. Where can people go for more information about this program? So check out our website, either virginia529.com or invest529.com, and you can learn all about our gifting programs and all the great features of having a 529 account. Scott, thank you so much. Thank you.